Welcome. Take that now. Take that this video is being uploaded right behind me. Right now. So data nice video today. It really saddens me that I still have to read uh I still have to read like seven days. I still have seven days reading missed. I'm still going to read. Not seven days missed, six days missed. I will have six days missed by Monday. And with Mondays on, that'd be seven days. On Monday I will go to and I will have four left. And on Tuesday, I will have five left. <laughs> It just keep increasing. On Tuesday, I will have five left plus Tuesday's own, and I'll record two on Tuesday, and I have three left. And on Wednesday, I will have four left again, and I'll record two, and I have and I will have two left. And on Thursday, I will have three left, and I'm going to record two, and I'm going to have one left. And on Friday, I'm going to have one left, and. I'll read two with Fridays on, and that will be the end of it. Now I figured it out. So, <laughs> so Friday that that is when I will escape from all of this. Ah, oh, God! I will try not to miss this thing in the future. Today, for today's reading, not no, not for today's reading. For day thirty nine's reading, because day thirty nine was on on I think Monday. So for the that night's reading, we are reading Joshua chapter 4 to chapter 8. Watch the last video if you haven't to get better understanding of this one. Let's go. Chapter 4. If you have a Bible, all this in your hand, read. Okay? Read your Bible with me so you better understand. Because I think reading and listening at the same time will help you better understand than just listening or just reading so combine the two and let's go let's go let's just go after this one i'll still listen to this reading again i'll still listen to it i still listen to them myself not all of them i've not listened to all of them to be honest <laughs> i've not listened to all of them but i listen to some so after this I, i'm still going to listen to this because when i'm reading sometimes I'm just reading like <laughs> I'm just reading like a robot my mind is not there so I have to listen to it again so let's get started in order to waste your time and not to waste mine because I have things to Joshua chapter 4 and it came to pass when all the people had completely crossed over the Jordan that the Lord spoke to Mo to Joshua saying oh Moses I, I almost said Moses <laughs> I've been saying Moses for too long and it came to pass when all the children of when all the people had, complete, um, had completely crossed over the Jordan, that the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Oh, that the Lord spoke to Joshua, saying, Take for yourselves twelve men from the people, one man from every tribe, and command them, saying, Take for yourselves twelve, twelve stones from here, out of the midst of the Jordan, from the place where the priest's feet stood firm. You shall carry them over with you, and leave them in the lodging place where you lodge tonight. Then Joshua called the twelve men whom he had appointed from the children of Israel, one man from every tribe. And Joshua said to him, and Joshua said to him, Cross over before the ark of the Lord your God into the midst of the Jordan, and each one of you take up a stone on his shoulder, according to the number of the tribes of the children of Israel, that this may be a sign among you whenever when your children ask you, ask in time to come, saying, What do these stones mean to you? Then you shall answer them that the waters of the Jordan were cut off before the ark of the covenant of the Lord. When it crossed over the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off, and these stones shall be for a memorial to the children of Israel forever. And the children of Israel did so, just as Joshua commanded, and took up, and took up twelve stones from the midst of the Jordan, as the Lord had spoken to Moses, according to the number of the tribes of the children of Israel, and carried them over with them to the place where they lodged, and laid them down there. Then Joshua set up twelve stones in the midst of the Jordan, in the place where the feet of the priest who bore the ark of the covenant stood, and they are there to this day. So the priests who bore the ark stood in the midst of the Jordan until everything was finished that the Lord had commanded Joshua to speak to the people, according to all that Moses had commanded Joshua. And the people hurried and crossed over. Then it came to pass, when all the people had completely crossed over, that the ark of the Lord and the 
priests crossed over in the presence of the people. And the men of Reuben, the men of Gad, and half the tribe of Manasseh crossed over armed before the children of Israel, as Moses had spoken to them. About 40,000 about 40, 40, prepared for war. About 40,000 prepared for war crossed over before the Lord for battle to the plain of Jericho. On that day, the Lord exalted the Lord exalted Joshua in the sight of all Israel, and they feared him as they feared Moses all the days of his life. Then the Lord spoke to Joshua, saying, Command the priests who bear the ark of the testimony to come up from the Jordan. Joshua therefore commanded the priests, saying, Come up from the Jordan. And it came to pass, when the priests who bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord had come from the midst of the Jordan, and the soles of the priests and the soles of the priest's feet touched the dry land, that the waters of the Jordan returned to their place and overflowed all its banks as before. Now the people came up from the Jordan on the, th on the tenth day of the first month, and they camped in Gilgal on the east border of Jericho. And those twelve stones which they took out of the Jordan, Joshua, sailed, Joshua set up in Gilgal. Then he spoke to the children of Israel. When your children ask, their fathers in time to come, saying, What are these stones? Then you shall let your children know, saying, If you are crossed over this Jordan dry land, for the Lord, for the Lord your God dried up the waters of the Jordan before you until you had crossed over, as the Lord your God did to the Red Sea, which it dried up before us until we had crossed over, that all the peoples of the earth may know that the hand of the Lord, that it is mighty, that you may fear the Lord your God forever. Chapter 5. So it was when all the kings of the Amorites who were on the west side of the Jordan and all the kings of the Canaanites who were by the sea heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of the Jordan from before the children of Israel until we had crossed over, that their hearts melted and, they, and there was no spirit in them any longer because of the children of Israel. And at that time the Lord said to Joshua, these people are discussing, add discussion. Okay, that's what I'm saying. At that time, the Lord said to Joshua, Make flint knives for yourself and circumcise the sons of Israel again the second time. So Joshua made flint knives for himself and circumcised the son of Israel at the ear of the first king. Mate. Ooh, all them old people. <laughs> and this is the reason why Joshua circumcised them. All the people who came out of Egypt, who were males, all the men of war, had died in the wilderness on the way after they had come out of Egypt. For all the people who came out had been circumcised. But all the people born in the wilderness on the way as they came out of Egypt had not been circumcised. For the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness till all the people who were men of war who came out of Egypt were consumed because they did not obey the voice of the Lord. To whom the Lord, to whom the Lord swore that He would not show them the land which the Lord has sworn to their fathers that He would give us, a land flowing with milk and honey. Then Joshua circumcised their sons, whom He raised up in their place, for they were uncircumcised because they had not been circumcised on the way. So it was when they had finished circumcising all the people that they stayed in their places in the camp till they were healed. Then the Lord said to Joshua. This day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. Therefore, the name of the place is called Gilgal to this day. Now the children of Israel camped in Gilgal and kept the Passover on the fourteenth day of the month of the month at twilight on the plains of Jericho, and they ate of the produce of the land on the day after the Passover, on living bread and parched grain on the very same day. Then the manna ceased on the day after they had eaten the produce of the land. And the children of Israel no longer had manna, but they ate the food of the land of Canaan that year. Hallelujah. <laughs> and it came to pass, when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted his eyes and looked. And behold, a man stood opposite him with his, swan, with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went to him. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? So he said, No. But as the command, but as commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. Whoa. 
And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped and said to him, What does my Lord say to his servant? Then the commander of the Lord's army, the commander of the Lord's army, the commander of the Lord's army, who? Then the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, Take your sandal off your foot, for the place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. Chapter 6. Now Jericho was securely shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho into your hand, its king, and the mighty men of Velo. Oh. And the mighty men of Valor, whatever the spelling is, is beauty. <laughs> Let's take your Bible, read the right spelling, and just go along. You shall march around the city, all you men of war. You shall go all around the city once. This you shall do six days. And seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark. But the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times, and the priest shall blow the trumpet. It shall come to pass when they make a long blast with the ram's horn. And when you hear the sound of the trumpet, that all the people shall shout with a great shout. Then the wall of the city will fall down flat, and the people shall go up every man straight before him. The Lord has really prepared for his people. See, really, the commander of the army of the Lord is with them. And now the Lord is going to fall the wall of Jericho with only their shout. Then Joshua the son of Nun called the priests and said to them, Take off the ark of the covenant and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram horns before the ark of the Lord. And he said to the people, Proceed and march around the city and let him who is armed advance before the ark of the Lord. So it was when Joshua had spoken to the people that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horn, of ram's horns before the Lord advanced and blew the trumpets and the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. The armed men went before the priest who blew the trumpet, and the rear guard, and the rear guard came after the ark, while the priest continued blowing the trumpet. Now Joshua had commanded the people, saying, You shall not shout or make any noise with your voice, nor shall a word proceed out of your mouth until the day I say to you, Shout, then you shall shout. So he had the ark of the Lord circle the city, going around it once. Then they came into the camp and lodged in the camp. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord. Their seven priests, bearing seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord, went on continually and blew, the, and blew with the trumpets. And the armed men, after... I am really happy because after all these years of journeying and everything, and after years of serving the wilderness without water, without food and everything, Crying to the Lord, transgressing against the commandments of the Lord, they are finally taking over. Like really taking over. The Lord is really with them. The, the, the commander of the army of the Lord is with them. God is by their side. Now he is. Now this is the fulfillment of Israel is my son or Jacob is my son. Or whatever I read the other time. Okay, so let's continue. Where did I stop? I don't see. Okay. But the red that came after the and Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priest took up the ark of the Lord, seven priests bearing and the armed men, but the and the second day they marched around the city once and returned to the camp. So they did this, and so they did this six days. But it came to pass on the seventh day as they rose early. I really don't know where I was. Oh, okay, let's start from chapter in, in verse 12. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord. Then seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord went on continually and blew with the trumpets. And the armed men went before them. But the rear guard came after the ark of the Lord. Why the priest continued blowing the trumpet, and the second and, and the second day they marched around the city once and returned to the camp. So they did this six days. Why did I eat? 
But it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early, about the dawning of the day, and marched around the city seven times in the same manner. On that day, only they marched around the city. On that day only, they marched around the city seven times. And the seventh time it and the seventh time it happened, when the priests blew the trumpets, that Joshua said to the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. Now the city shall be doomed by the Lord to destruction. It and all who are in it, only Rab the Arlot shall live. Imagine the Arlot. She and all who are with her in the house, because she eat the messengers that we sent. And you by all means abstain from the accursed things, lest you become accursed when you take when you take of the accursed things, and make the camp of Israel a curse and trouble it. But all the silver and gold and vessels of bronze and iron and concept are consecrated to the Lord, they shall come into the treasury of the Lord. So the people shouted when the priests blew the trumpets, and it happened when the people heard the sound of the trumpets, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat. Then the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city, and they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, young and old ox and sheep and donkey with the edge of the sword but joshua had said to the two men who had spied out the country go into the allot's house and from there bring out the woman and all that she has as you swore to her and the young men who had been spies went in and went in and brought out rab her father her brothers and all that she had so they brought out our relatives and left them outside the camp of Israel. I just realized that what I've been calling rap might have been my it's have been rap. Rap. Rap rap. Whatever. Can you Bible? Read the right pronunciation. Read it the right way. Whatever is right to you. Read it and understand it. But the bond, the city, and all that was in it with fire. Only the silver and gold and the vessels of bronze and iron they put into the treasury of the house of the Lord. And Joshua spared Rab the Arlot, Rab, Rab, her father's household and all that she had. So she dwells in Israel to this day, because she eat the messengers whom Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. Then Joshua charged them at that time, saying, Cursed be the man before the Lord who rises up and builds this city, Jericho. And with his youngest, he shall set up its gate. So the Lord was with Joshua, and his fame spread throughout all the country. Chapter 7. But the children of Israel, the heading for this chapter says, Defeat at I. But I like to read it at, as Defeat at AI. At the vision, there is. <laughs> but the children of Israel committed a trespass. Regarding the accursed things, oh, again, again. But the children of Israel committed a trespass regarding the accursed things for Achan, the son of Kami, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, the, of the tribe of Judah, took of the accursed things. These people should listen for once. So the anger of the Lord burned against the children of Israel. Now Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is beside Beth Avon on the east side of Bethel, and spoke to them, saying, Go up and spy out the country. So the men went up and spied out Ai, and they returned to Joshua, and said to him, Do not let all the people go up, but let about two or three hundred men go up and attack Ai. Do not weary all the people there, for the people of Ai are few. So about three thousand men went up there from the people, but they fled before the men of Ai. And the men of Ai struck down about that six men, for they chased them from before the gates as far as Shebarim, and struck them down on the descent. Therefore the earth of the people melted and became like water. Then Joshua tore his clothes and fell to the earth on his face before the ark of the Lord until evening. He and the elders of Israel, and they put dust on their heads. And Joshua said, Alas, Lord God, why have you brought these people over the Jordan at all, to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites, to destroy us? Oh, that we have Oh, that we had been content and dwelt on the other side of the Jordan. Oh Lord, what shall I say when Israel turns its back before its enemies? For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land will hear it and surround us and cut off our name from the earth. Then what will you do for your great name? So the Lord said to Joshua, Get up, 
Why do you like those on your face? Israel has sinned, and they have also transgressed my covenant, which I commanded them. For they have taken some of their cursed sins, and have both stolen and deceived, and they have also put it among their own stuff. Therefore the children of Israel could not stand before the enemies, but turned their backs before their enemies, because they have become doomed to destruction. Neither will I be with you anymore, unless you destroy their cursed from among you. Get up, sanctify the people, and say, Sanctify yourselves for tomorrow, because thus says the Lord God of Israel, There is an accursed thing in your midst. O Israel, you cannot stand before your enemy until you take away the accursed thing from among you. In the morning, therefore, you shall be brought according to your tribes, and it shall be that the tribe which the Lord takes shall come according to families, and the family which the Lord takes shall come by households, and the household which the Lord takes shall come man by man. Then it shall be that he who is, who is taken with the accursed sin shall be burned with fire, he and all that he has, because he has transgressed the commandments of the Lord, and because he has done a disgraceful sin in Israel. So Joshua rose early in the morning and brought Israel by their tribes, and the tribe of Judah was taken. He brought the clan of Judah, and he took the family of the Zarite, Zarhite, and he brought the family of the Zarite man by man, and Zabdi was taken. Then he brought his household man by man, and Achan, the son of Kami, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, was taken. Now Joshua said to Achan, My son, I beg you, give, lo give glory to the Lord God of Israel, and make confession to him, and tell me now what you have done. Do not hide this from me. And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and this is what I have done. When I saw among the spoils a beautiful Babylonian garment, 200 shekels of silver, and a wedge of gold weighing 50 shekels, I coveted them and took them, and there they are hidden in the earth, in the midst of my tent, with the silver under it. So Joshua sent messengers, and they ran to the tent, and there it was hidden in his tent, with the silver under it. And they took them from the midst of the tent, brought them to Joshua and to all the children of Israel, and laid them out before the Lord. Then Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan, the son of Zerah, the silver, the garment, the wedge of the wedge of gold, his sons, his daughters, his oxen, just because of a little oh, just just because of a little covetousness, his whole family is being destroyed alongside him. His daughters, his oxen, his donkeys, his sheep, his tents, and all that he had, and they brought them to the valley of Achor. Achor. Achor, whatever. And Joshua said, Why have you troubled us? The Lord will trouble you this day. So all Israel stoned him, stoned him with stones, and they burned them with fire after they had stoned them with stones. Think. Then they raised over him a great heap of stones, still there to this day. So the Lord turned from the fierceness of his anger. Therefore, the name of that place has been called the Valley of Archer to this day. Chapter 8, the final chapter for day 30. Nice reading. This is day 39. Yes, my dear. Day 39, yeah. Now the Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. Take all the people of war with you, and arise. Go, to, go up to Ai. See, I have given into your hand the king of Ai, his people, his city, and his land. And you shall do to I and its kings, and its king as you did to Jericho and its king. Only its poise and its cattle you shall take as booty for yourselves. Lay an ambush for the city behind it. So Joshua arose and all the people of war to go up against I. And Joshua chose thirty thousand. And Joshua chose thirty thousand men, thirty thousand mighty men of valor, and sent them away by night. And he commanded them, saying, Behold, you shall lie in ambush against the city. Behind the city, do not go very far from the city, but all of you be ready. Then I and all the people who are with me, they are shouting, really shouting behind me. Then I and all the people who are with me will approach the city, and it will come about when they come out against us as at the first, that we shall flee. Oh, plan. That we shall flee before them, for they will come out after us till we have drawn them from the city. For they will say, They are fleeing before us as at the first. Therefore, we will flee before them. <laughs> then you shall rise from the ambush and seize the city.
for the Lord your God while they are leading other, other strong men out of the city. And then while the strong men are out of the city chasing the children of Israel, these people that are lying in ambush, they went down the city, destroyed the city, take over the city while the strong men are gone. While the strong men are busy chasing the children of Israel. This is a master plan. <laughs> Joshua the master plan. Then you shall rise from the ambush and seize the city, for the Lord your God will deliver it into your hand. And it will be when you have taken the city that you shall set the city on fire. According to the commandments of the Lord, you shall do. See, I have commanded you. Joshua therefore sent them out, and they went to lie in ambush and stayed between Bethel and I on the on the west side of Bethel. But Joshua lodged there. But Joshua lodged that night among the people. Then Joshua rose up early in the morning and mustered the people and went up. What argument are these people having? He and the elder, he and the elders of Israel before the people to I, and all the people of war who were with him went up and drew near, and they came before the city and camped on the north side of I. Now a valley lay between them and I, so he took about five thousand men and set them in ambush between Bethel and I on the west side of the city. And when they had set the people, all the army that was on the north of the city and its rear guard on the west of the city. Joshua went that night into the midst of the valley. Now it happened when the king of Ai saw it that the men of the city hurried and rose early and went out against Israel to battle. He and all his people at an appointed place before the plain, but he did not know that there was an ambush against him behind the city. And Joshua and all Israel made as if they were beaten before them and fled by the way of the wilderness. So all the people who were in Ai were called together to pursue them. And they pursued Joshua and were drawn away from the city. There was not a man left in Ai or Bethel who did not go out after Israel. So they left the city open and pursued Israel. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Stretch out the spear that is in your hand toward Ai, for I will give it into your hand. And Joshua stretched out the spear that was, that was in his hand toward the city. So those in ambush arose quickly out of their place. They ran as soon as he had stretched out his hand, and they entered the city and took it. I hope you can hear my voice over this shouting. Okay. They ran as soon as he had stretched out his hand, and they entered the city and took it, and hurried to set the city on fire. And when the men of Ai looked behind them, they saw and behold, the smoke of the city ascended to heaven, so they had no power to flee this way or that way. And the people who had fled to the wilderness turned back on the pursuers. Now when Joshua and all Israel saw that the ambush had taken the city and that the smoke of the city ascended, they turned back and struck down the men of Ai. Then the others came out of the city against them, so they were caught in the midst of Israel, some on this side and some on that side. And they struck them down, so that they let none of them remain or escape. But the king of Ai they took alive and brought him to Joshua. And it came to pass when Israel had made an end of slaying all the inhabitants of Ai in the field, in the wilderness where they pursued them, and when they had and when they and when they all had fallen by the edge of the sword, until they were consumed, that all the Israelites returned to Ai and struck it with the edge of the sword. So it was that all who fell that day, both men and women, were twelve thousand. All the people of Ai, for Joshua did not draw back his hand, with which he stretched out the spear, until he had utterly destroyed all the inhabitants of Ai. Only the livestock and the spoil of that city Israel took as booty for themselves, according to the word of the Lord, which he had commanded Joshua. So Joshua burned Ai and made it a heap forever, a desolation to this day. And the king of Ai he hanged on a tree until evening. And as soon as the sun was down, Joshua commanded that they should take his corpse down from the, from the tree, cast it at the entrance of the gate of the city, and raise, it, and raise over it a great heap of stone that remains to this day. Now Joshua built an altar to the Lord God of Israel in Mount Ebal, as Moses the servant of the Lord had commanded the children of Israel, as it is written in the book of the law of Moses. An altar of old stone over which no man has wielded an iron tool, and they offered on it burnt offerings to the Lord and sacrificed, and sacrificed peace offerings. And there, in the presence of the children of Israel, he wrote on the stones a copy of the law of Moses. Ooh, almost 30 minutes. 
which he had written. Then all Israel, with their elders and officers and judges, stood on either side of the ark before the priest, the Levites, who bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord, the strangers, as well as the as he who was born among them. Half of them were in front of Mount Gerizim, and half of them in front of Mount Eba, as Moses, the servant of the Lord, had commanded and commanded before that they should bless the people of Israel. And afterward, he read all the words of the law. Oof. The blessings and the curses, according to all that is written in the book of the law, there was not a word of all. There was not a word of all that Moses had commanded, had commanded, which Joshua did not read before all the assembly of Israel, with the women, the little ones, and the strangers who were living among them. The end of day. That's nice reading. May the Lord. May the Lord help me to pay all my debt. All the debt of not reading these things. On Friday, I should be able to finish it off. So, help me. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please share this video with anyone. If you know anyone who will be interested in watching, in watching Bible reading and listening to Bible reading, just send this to them. Just please. Share this video to anyone who needs it by doing this. <laughs> by doing this, you can share, they can keep sharing the gospel. Just keep sharing and keep sharing and keep sharing and keep sharing and keep sharing. And before you know it, you've reached like 10 people, you've touched the heart of 10 people. Just share, share. Thank you very much. Like this video if you liked it, of course. Like this video, subscribe to the channel to be notified when another video goes live so that you won't miss it. Turn on the notification bell, that's the most important. Subscribe! Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this 33 minutes video. That's 3 minutes, that's 2 minutes already. Thank you very much for watching this video. And yeah, I'm not here to flex. <laughs> I'm not here to flex. Just share this video. Do whatever it was in the video. Just watch it, put it in your background. Watch. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.